Hey, welcome back to Oddie's Airsoft. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is from Helicon Tex and it's the Level 7 Extreme Weather Outer Jacket. Um, first off, let me say, Helicon Tex has been around a long time. If you are a viewer of my channel, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of Helicon Tex. I'm wearing their UTP pants here. I've got a pair of GK boots on, which I have to say, after wearing them non-stop for about two years in every kind of weather, they are my go-to boots. They haven't missed a trick and they are still like brand new. Um, Helicon Tex make great gear. Uh, I, I'm a big raver about them, but I rave about them because I genuinely believe in them as a company. I wear their garments all year long, whether it's spring, summer, autumn, winter. I have one of their garments on every single day of my life, whether I'm going to work, whether I'm going out with the dog, whether I'm out fishing, uh, whether I'm airsofting. I am wearing Helicon Tex all year long. It doesn't fail, it doesn't let me down. The quality of the gear is second to none. So let's talk about this. This is the Level 7 Cold Weather Outer Garment. And what it's designed to do is it's designed to fit over everything else that you'd be wearing to keep you really, really warm in very extremely cold conditions. Um, typical of Helicon Tex, they've done a lot of research and they've put all the best products into this one garment. It's absolutely superb. And I know I'm filming this mid-September. I know that come the winter, this is going to be a very much a go-to coat for me. I do a lot of outdoor uh, work. I do a lot of fishing, a lot of walking the dog, uh, a lot of airsoft. So this is going to really fit the criteria for when it gets really cold. Now I'm saying cold, I'm talking about sub-zero conditions. It's designed for when it's really frosty out and you're going to be feeling a bit of a nip in the air. Most airsofters like to have uh, light clothing when they're playing because let's face it, you get very hot, very sticky, very sweaty even in cold conditions. The great thing about this garment is it is completely breathable. Outside of it has a Teflon coated nylon ripstop material. The great thing about the ripstop is it means it won't rip on you. If you're going through uh, hedgerows, undergrowth, brambles, you name it, it's not going to tear, which is that's a big must. And the reason why you don't want a garment like this to tear is because once you tear it, there's going to be a hole. And once you have a hole, you can compromise thermal integrity. So you really don't want a garment that rips. Now, as I said, Helicon Tex have put a lot of thought into their product. The insulation material they, they've opted for is a thing called Climber Shield Apex. Now that is an outdoor mountaineering product from Climber Shield, who make a whole host of different products uh, and it's basically insulation products for many different uh, sectors of the outdoor market, whether it be the military, camping, climbing, uh, mountain climbing, whatever it is. And they are renowned in the business. They're a US uh, company and they make the very, very best insulation material. Now, what st sets this apart? Well, let's first of all, let's talk about the amount that's in it. In the body section of the jacket, there is 100 grams of the climbing shield per meter square. And on the, on the actual hood, which is kept hidden inside the actual collar, there is 67 grams of the material per meter square. Now, it's quite a, a spongy material. And uh, the reason being is, is, is what it's designed to do is it expands so that the air gets superheated by the body, trapped into it, and it keeps the thermal seal. Most of the garment materials out there that are used for insulation, most of them have a habit of when you compress them, wash them, uh, put them into a bag, once they compress it all, they tend not to re-energize back into the original shape. And what happens is they become redundant after a very short term because the whole purpose of thermal qualities is that you have the air pockets inside the, the filament to create the heat and trap the heat. And that's not so with Climber Shield Apex. Now what they've done, they've designed a really clever piece of uh, insulation material that over the life of the garment uh, will wash, compress, do everything you want it to do and return to its original state, meaning that you will never have any uh, problems with reduction in thermal quality. Now, what I will also say on that is they also have say that where the stitching on the actual jacket is, usually they become weak points on any thermal material because it's where it compresses it. 
but not so with the Climb Shield Apex because whatever way, it, 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 they call it the duvet something or another, stitching problem. But basically what happens is where the stitching goes, it squashes it down. This doesn't happen with the Climbing Shield. So there are no inherent weak spots or cold spots within the, the garment itself. So let's just take a closer look at the garment. You have, as I said, uh, a number of different colors. It comes in sizes from small to double XL. Uh, when I was told they were gonna, from Helicon Text they were thinking about sending this jacket out to me, they asked me what size I wanted. I said, look, get me a large because usually I'm a medium in order other jackets. Get me a large because then it's gonna be an outer jacket. They said, look, before we send you a large, I think we'd be better off sending you a medium. Reason by, being these are what, uh, they, they are very capacious jackets. They're much bigger than the normal size. So he basically said, if you take a large, you go down to a medium. If you take an XL, you go to a large. That's the kind of thing. So I said, look, about to your knowledge, they sent me out a medium and I have to agree, it is huge. It is a big jacket without being massive. I wore this out only recently on a very cold night fishing and I had a hoodie underneath, absolutely kept me nice and roasty toasty. It was really, really comfortable. Even with the um, hoodie underneath, I didn't find any restriction and there are, you know, it, it is actually very nice and easy to move around in. Comes in a number of different colors. This is obviously the olive uh, drab, the uh, green color. Uh, at the front here, you have the usual typical uh, sleeves that um, have the uh, Velcro on them to cuff them around so you can stop the wind getting in. Coming up, you have the Velcro patch here, the ID patches on both arms. If you want to put some uh, patches on, it allows you to do so. Moving down the jacket, there's only two pockets here on the front and they are big and capacious. You can actually nearly fit, you know, not only your hands in, but your whole wrists and the whole, they're big enough so that you can actually fit the whole sleeves in so that you can keep a real nice thermal bond going on especially if it's cold on the inside of the pockets they have um, fleece lining to warm your hands and they also then have uh, iphone or smartphone holders on both sides so you can store any device that you have with you and they also have on each side these little um, elasticated uh, straps with d-rings on so you can clip on keys or anything that might fall out your pocket if you're running around or moving uh, so it, it, nice little features so that's the external pockets. Now, on the inner side, they have one pocket on this side, which is a nice deep pocket. So if you've got money or you need to keep anything safe, you keep it in there. But then they have these two mesh pockets on either side. And these mesh pockets are designed for, if you're out, you've got your feet wet from walking around in you know grass that's wet and dew or whatever. If there is any part of your garments that get wet, what you can do is you can take them off, put on fresh garments, Put the old ones that are damp or soaking wet into these pockets, do up your coat and the actual heat of your body will actually start drying out the garments as you walk. Great little feature. Will it be used? Probably not by the everyday air softer because let's face it, you can go back to the car and change. But if you're out and you're um, sort of camping or anything like that or walking great distances, it's a nice little feature. It's designed for the military anyway. Now, coming back to the front, we have the typical YKK zips, which, let's face it, are the best zips on the market. Up to the collar, they have that typical fleece line collar that they've been utilizing on most of their modern jackets. And it really does make for a very, very comfy fit. You don't get any of that sort of roughness or grinding on your actual neck. Inside the actual collar is the hood. Now, the hood itself is designed to accommodate and fit a helmet, but if you're wearing a beanie or wearing a cap, it's gonna fit perfectly, and it does have straps here to tighten it all the way down. It can be rolled back up if you're not using it. Now, this bag is supplied with the jacket. This is the level seven compression bag, and it allows you then roll it all up and put, store it into a very small space. So if you're out, you're air softing, or out in any outdoor situation, and you need to have some cold weather gear with you, but you know you don't know when you're gonna need it, you can compress it all down, put it in a stuff bag, pop it in your main kit bag, and leave it there until you actually need it. The actual jacket itself is not waterproof, but it is showerproof, and it's designed that if you got caught out in the most horrendous weather out there, and it's freezing cold and it lashes rain on you, if you get wet, let's face it, that all your body heat leaves you and you do get cold 
extra quick. Well, they've negated that. They've designed this material, the, the insulating material is so good that even if it's soaking wet and you fell in a river, this stuff will actually still keep the thermal integrity in your body. You'll still stay warm even though you're soaking wet. And that's a big claim, but it's been proven scientifically and through the, you know, from Climate Shield, they've shown that this, this stuff will actually do that. So all in all, a fantastic garment. And what do you, I mean, let's face it, it's what you'd expect from Helicon Tex. Brilliant gear, superbly made, um, at the right price range, and stuff that will last you really a lifetime. And I have to say, I know I always sound very biased when I talk about Helicon Tex, and it's because I wear it every day, I can actually honestly say, gear is superb. Uh, it's not like some gear that you get only, you, you might only have on loan or you might only wear it for a little bit and then it's gone. I wear my Helicontex every day of my life, 365 days a year, I've got some part of me is, is wearing Helicontex. And I have to say, I'm a big fan. Uh, so if you're in the mood for, you know, this outer garment, the Level 7 is available at most of the Helicontex stockists that are out there. If they don't have it, get them to order it in for you. And um, as I say, it's absolutely a superb piece of kit. It's gonna keep me very warm on some very cold nights this winter. So this has been Jerry, this is Oddie's Airsoft, and we'll see you in the next video.